and know what you're doing. If you're going to be a bodybuilder, take it seriously as you do, then of course, you take your look seriously, you're willing to sacrifice so many things socially, so many things health-wise, if you're in the enhanced end, then be that serious about your commitment to putting on the right amount of weight and also controlling how much food you're taking in calorically. Well, hi, I'm John Hart and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Today I'm talking about three good reasons why your bulk is failing you and why it will fail you in the end after a whole year or an off season of giving your best shot at bulking up and then eventually tightening it up, cutting, going on a cut or a mini cut, either way, any way you want to define it. But once you come down, what will end up will be a problem. And here it is. Three good reasons. The first reason, I'm going to go right to it. The first reason is your expectations are way too high. Going into this bulking season, you have figured on putting, oh, 10 or 15 pounds of pure muscle on your body by the time your next in season comes. That could be for a contest or it could just be for the spring and the summer. The problem with that is, is you're overshooting. You're imagining that you can put on 10 or 15 pounds of quality muscle. And number one, of course we know there's two different situations going on. You could either be natural or enhanced. In the natural world, 10 or 15 pounds of muscle this year, unless you're a raw beginner, that is just an impossibility. You're not going to be doing that. If you're enhanced, 10 or 15 pounds of pure muscle, that's more possible. However, you're going to be loaded and you're going to have to deal with the you know, what goes up must come down situation hormonally. So that you will face in the end. So it's more possible on the enhanced side. So I'm addressing both right here. The reality though is you're setting your expectations too high. You, why should you have this imagination of putting on 10 or 15 pounds of muscle if you're natural? It's not going to happen this year. If anything, annually you should be thinking, you being more of a intermediate or advanced Bodybuilder, you should be thinking more in terms of putting on, you know, anywhere from three to six pounds of lean quality muscle each year as a natural, somewhat intermediate advanced, right? If you do that and you aim for that, then this leads from <laughs> problem number one, shooting too high. And even the advanced guys, the enhanced guys, not advanced, but enhanced guys, you're shooting too high, putting on 40 pounds and aiming to cut down to a 20 pound gain, even that is kind of unrealistic. Not too many guys do that, or girls for that matter, uh, who are enhanced, put on 20 solid quality pounds of muscle after they've bulked and then come down. It's usually not that high. So either way, the expectations are just a little bit too high. So bring the expectations down. That's the first thing. Number two, you're not keeping track. You're absolutely not keeping track of how much you're eating. A bulk is not a free for all. It's not just eat anything you want and go crazy with it. That kind of a bulk will lead to accumulating too much body fat unnecessarily. It doesn't matter whether you're natural or enhanced. Putting on excess body fat, I mean a lot of it, is going to be a problem. By the time you diet it all off, you are going to sacrifice some lean muscle that you just shouldn't have because you had to diet harder than you should. So number two is, is you're not keeping track. What do I mean by that? Track your calories. Know how much you're eating at least five out of seven days a week. This is what I have clients do. This is what we do at Mr. America Heart. We have clients who are on an upswing calorically on a little bit of a bulk have, if that's what you want to call it. We call it a lean muscle gain, but a little bit of a bulk we have them go slightly increased calories, a surplus of calories, but we know how much they're taking in six, five, six days a week on average. We know. There's a free for all on one day. Let's just say the truth right there. But other than that, five, six days a week, you have to have some kind of control and know what you're doing. If you're going to be a bodybuilder, take it seriously as you do, then of course, you take your look seriously. You're willing to sacrifice so many things socially, so many things health-wise, if you're in the enhanced end, then be that serious about your commitment 
to putting on the right amount of weight and also controlling how much food you're taking in calorically. You should only be in a slight surplus. How do you adjust that along the way? Well, you can go ahead if you want to contact us at Mr. America Heart. Go to the website, MrAmericaHeart.com, shoot us an email, and we'll, you know, we'll hit you, shoot us an inquiry about you know, what we do and how we do it, and we'll shoot you some information, okay? Um, on the Contact Us page. Now, we do online coaching, just so you know. The third reason why your bulk is just not going to end up very nice. You are dirty bulking. Dirty bulking is eating too much crap. You're just eating too much crap in the course of your week. And I mean, you can't be going to drive throughs all the time. I mean, first of all, we just handled the number two calorically. You have to have that under some kind of control with a slight surplus. But if you are dirty bulking, you have absolutely no clue what's going on. If you're just looking at the scale, I'm telling you right now, it won't end up nice. It won't end up nice. You're going to go ahead and you're going to dirty bulk. You're going to be eating those cheeseburgers, eating that... Uh, uh, that Taco Bell, <laughs> eating the types of foods you should not be eating, too much pizza, too much of things that are just kind of considered dirty bulking foods and not enough of the high quality nutrition. You need high quality nutrition for not just gaining good lean muscle mass, but also for gaining great health. So you'll spend more days in good health over the course of your year and thereby gaining even more muscle. Because if you're not healthy, and you've just beat your health down or your immune system by eating too much dirt, dirt, see what I called it, dirt, by eating too many dirty foods and sacrificing quality of nutrition, you're not getting the nutrients that you need. Not only will you have trouble building the right kind of muscle that you need, but you're also going to sacrifice your health. Any day that you're out of the game is a loss. It's a step backwards. Several days, that's several days lost, several steps backwards. So that's what I'm talking about. I just gave you three good reasons, th dirty bulking being the last one, why your bulk is just not going to turn out nice. You should be on the last one, a cleaner bulk. Again, five to six days a week, you should still be eating those clean, high nutrition, nutritionally dense foods. Yes, your chicken, your bro broccoli, your rice, you know, jasmine rice. Yes, oatmeal. Yes, eggs. Yes, steak. Yes, red meat. Yes, chicken. Yes, fish. All of that. Yeah, fish on a bulk. Yeah. Healthy foods. So that's it. I just gave you three good reasons why your bulk has not been turning out very nice. Correct some of these. If you need help with that, of course, Mr. America Heart over at our place, we handle online coaching and help you guys out with such things. It's no problem. Just get to us, MrAmericaHeart.com, contact us page. And otherwise, I'll see you next time from my heart to you, John Hart. Right before you go, though, off to my left, you can see this disc pop up. That is the subscribe button for our channel. Give that thing a tap, won't you? That's going to be good for letting you know anytime we have new videos pop up. Down below over there, you're going to see a thumbs up button. Please give that thing a, a tap till it turns blue. That's going to go ahead and notify the YouTube algorithm what a great channel we have and let you know again how often you can see us. That's it. See you soon.